drift over the fall side. Oh, there we go. Whoa, that was super deep. The snow drifts just kind of take you like it's like you're riding but you're riding like that it feels like you're riding diagonally but you're riding straight but sometimes you are going diagonal but it feels the same There's a car. I think they like headlight flashed me. They're like, hey, the fuck are you doing, okay? Oh no. I just kinda wanna check out like what the main road is like because I have to probably gonna have to drive a little tomorrow. I've never been to this gas station. Yeah, no, like the main road seems like super easy, like it's packed down, so you don't slide on it much. I wanna wait until there's no cars and jump back onto the side road. I don't wanna scare anyone or anything. So I'm probably gonna go through this parking lot. And for anyone wondering, I did air my tires down 
and it's obviously a mountain bike so normally on trails uh, I ride I'm really heavy so I ride like 30 psi uh, in the back and uh, between 20 and 30 in the front depending on if I'm doing jumps or not uh, but to do this I'm running uh, 20 in the rear and 15 in the front and that's just so whenever the tire is like over something it can form the tread to the snow better and you know maybe I'm crazy or maybe this is really dry snow but it it doesn't seem to be sticking so maybe the tread flexing is kind of letting the snow fall out of it and this isn't really an aggressive tread it's more of like a uh, enduro like cycle across tread um, just deep enough to do trails but you know not uh, DH minions or anything uh, they're actually Maxis icons so not super thick not super aggressive oh this road is like really traveled super packed so I'm probably going like you know, maybe 10 miles an hour but feels way more gnarlier than even like being on a road bike going like 15 <laughs> and I actually just like hit a little ridge in the uh, snow <laughs> it got pretty sideways Yeah, it's still pretty squirrely. If I had to say. Um, probably pretty dangerous. Oh. I just kind of want to see what the river front's like. You're technically not supposed to ride your bike through the riverfront but <laughs> I'm gonna take my chances because I could be wrong but I don't oh my god the snow drifts are about 20 inches deeper than I thought it was maybe not 20 but my wheel sunk on it I don't think there's going to be anyone down here to tell me not to because it is lifted cold. Ugh, like my mustache is freezing. And it's the water off that river. It is cold. It's weird. It's like it's like there's a layer of snow with like the thinnest, teeniest, tiniest sheet of ice on it. Do I want to go over there? Yeah, why not? No drift. Ride down these stairs. 
if I die. Oh, it just snowed here. All right, well, here we go, boys. Woo! <laughs> that was gnarly. Oh, oh, this is like ice out here. Oh, yeah, I think they painted this actually. And oh, it is like an ice skating thing. It's so quiet, it's weird. Oh! <laughs> oh god, I can't stand up. Oh, I got snow in my shoe. Oh, that's so tragic. I should have stayed on my bike. Why'd I go over there? I guess my headlight's starting to die. I'm gonna turn it down. I don't really need over here, but it's so cold. Battery likes to die. I think it's cold. All right, after I want to go to the bat wing and then I want to go look and see what Frederickville looks like and then I'm going to go home. You know what would be perfect for this? A fat bike. The big old fat tires. Ah. There's just the snow drifts. Like. It's just so loose and so drifty. Ha! Snow drift. Drifting in the snow drift. I lube my shifting cable with this really thin um, Dumundi like free hub oil and I think I'm getting like cable drag it's not wanting to drop anymore I just like freak out people driving. Fluffy death. All right, there's no one behind me. Oh, there's totally someone behind me. Oh, it sounds like a Mustang. They're going to kill me. It was 
was not a Mustang. I didn't die. Crowd killer. No, everything snowed. You know what? If this keeps up all night, I bet Owensboro might be in a state of emergency. Because look at it. It's just snow death out here. I can die. I'm just kidding. You know, I'm riding a bike in it, so it's obviously not that bad. But slow down for the stop sign. I'm not going to stop all the way, even though you're because I don't want to get snow in my shoe. This is more of a uh, do as I say, you know, not as I do, but rolling up to a stop sign very slowly. You have a lot of time to look up and down both streets to make sure uh, it's safe to cross. Now, obviously, you know, if your vision's blocked by, you know, any kind of obstruction, you know, like a shrub, a parked car, or, you know, really anything, you should probably stop all the way but you know I'm not a doctor or a lawyer or a traffic specialist so you know don't listen to me at any rate what is this everyone that posted videos about GME I am not a legal you know what do you, what do you call those people brokers tax tax evaders Whatever the, whatever the word is. I'm not a legal person. I'm not giving you tax advice or investment advice. Don't listen to me. So I could cross. I think I'm just going to take these side roads. These seem a little bit a little bit better, a little bit better. Is that a jug? <laughs> I hit it. See, I would pick it up and throw it into someone's toter, but I did that one time and someone got super mad at me. So, I don't want to take the risk. Apparently, it's illegal. Using someone else's toter is like I don't I don't know how how illegal it is. Like you're not gonna go to prison for it, but I think it's like a fine or something. Apparently that person had like trouble with someone like actually throwing trash in it, like their house trash, and they're yelling like whatever code or whatever at me. It could have been full of shit, but. I don't want someone to get mad and like try to stab me or something. <laughs> Not that that's gonna happen, but yeah. people 
bridge over in there. Sidewalk. No sir. Not me. I was walking in. Never mind. Hello. I hate it when I'm riding and someone says like hello and it's like your voice decides to quit working. I'm actually gonna take the next side road. I don't like cars being behind me, especially in this, because no one, no one's one knows how to drive. Oh, it just always scares me. People don't want to work it out. I just tried to like get on this street as quick as possible. I hit a snow drift. I didn't fall though. I just, I just don't like the idea of people being behind me. And then you add the fact that it's snowing. And then, yeah, I just don't like it. sickles yet I can feel my like beard starting to 